Hey guys, doing in this lesson, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to draw the uh, three-fourths view of the mannequin and of the human figure. So I know I might have maybe left a little bit unclear before, so now hopefully this lesson will make it more clear. So the, this is a, an addition to this course. I haven't added anything to this course in a long time. I have a lot of new different techniques, so I'm going to show you some of those techniques and drawing the, uh, the, the human figure from the three-fourths view. I do plan on coming out with a new course on drawing the human figure. And it's going to be like a crash course in anatomy, and it's going to go from all the basics of stick figure all the way up with all my new techniques and, and everything like that. This is just a sample of some of those new techniques. Um, do you want that course to be in pencil, or do you want that course to be uh, like this, digital? digital? Just let me know. Um, I, I actually have a pencil drawing thing I just did recently. I put on my YouTube channel. And so check that out. I'll go ahead and make an announcement, and I'll link to that, uh, that video so you guys can check it out. All right, so let's go and get started here. So the first thing is... You want to start with a, a line, and hopefully I can make this to where it's dark enough to see. So start with a line, divide it in half. Um, I'm just, you know, I rough it, divide it in half again, divide this in half, and that gives you the idea of your head size. So now we have our head size here. Now when we're dealing with the three-fourths view, it's kind of like a, a halfway mix of a, a front view and a side view. And I, I show that in my book, and if you haven't had my companion book yet, it's really good to have. It's on Amazon. And it's, it's a bestseller uh, in the figure drawing section. And it's How to Draw Awesome Figures, what it's called. How to Draw Awesome Figures by Neil Fontaine. There's both a Kindle version and a, and, a, and a paperback version. And it's really cool images to show this kind of like three-fourths view. So the first thing I want to do is kind of imagine that you have a, a front view of the character. And then add the side view to that skinny character. That's one way to do it. Now, I like to start with the hips. So one thing I like to do, it's a newer, a newer trick I like to do, is it's kind of like... It's kind of like a heart shape like this. This is kind of a shape I start with, something like this here. And this allows me to kind of see where I want my, my legs and everything to go. From here, I can easily draw my, my mannequin of the legs coming down like this. And my other mannequin legs coming down like this here. And then draw where you want the knees. And then again, draw the last part of the mannequin leg here, like so. And because it's in three-fourths view, you have the one knee is going to be like slightly higher than the other. So just make sure you have that kind of, that those planes happening when you're drawing. All right, add the kind of Superman shape here. You can imagine a circle that connects the upper and lower part. Now the same way I figure out and before about where the, how far the hands are going to go down in that halfway point for the hands, all that's done, done exactly the same way. I'm going to just kind of get a idea of a three-fourths head going on here. Get the neck. Something like that. Collarbone, so we'll go like this. All right, now, all you have to do is here from the collarbone is come down to the halfway point and then cut that in half. So all that is the same. You know, that doesn't change. And then draw where you want your arms to be. Basic shapes at first. Now, here's where I think it's really helpful to draw a certain shape for the rib cage for three-fourths view. Draw this side, and they're almost going to be the same then it's just draw like a thin rib cage that has to fit in this area right here. And just make it like a thin rib cage like that. And then continue to add a side plane like this. This will help visualize the character that much better in the three-fourths view. For this part here, you can you can imagine a triangle shape, like so, that being the front view. And you kind of cut that in half so one side's a little this side's a little bit smaller than this side. If you're wondering what, what I'm I'm actually working in Manga Studio 5EX, if you're wondering, I've uh, switched over, I like it much better. The next thing is you want kind of a front view of the leg. So I kind of have this triangle shape that comes down like this and over here. And this works really great for female figures. And this side of the leg isn't you're not actually seeing the outside the side view, but this one you are, so I draw that kind of side view shape right here, like so. So now I have this whole entire side view shape of the female figure right here. But this side, I don't. We know also that when we're in three-fourths view, this shoulder is going to be hidden more than this shoulder is going to be more visible. You're going to have more of this shoulder showing. And the shoulder, again, takes up half of this length here. So you have this upper length of the arm and the lower length of the arm. That upper length of the arm, the deltoid, the, the shoulder muscle, is going to take up half of it. Be sure to do that. A lot of people don't 
think the shoulder is that big, but it actually is. And for now, I'm just drawing basic shapes here. And I'll go into more of the how the 3D kind of works. Right, so kind of like that. Then imagine you have the side plane of the leg and the front plane of the leg. Here you have that front plane of the leg, you can see a little bit, but you can see the inner side view of the leg here. Like that. And then you have the inner side view of the calf. And here you're going to see a little bit more of the front view and then a little bit of the side view of the calf muscle, like that. You're going to see the inside ankle, heel, and foot with the three-fourths view, and this one you're going to see the outside, so the pinky toe. Right, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Then you have your hands. This side you're going to see the thumb more. Right, so that'd be how you you'd go about doing that. And then you can turn this to either male or female. Now let's go ahead and do this again, but this time we're going to do a slightly different technique. I'm going to go ahead and just draw everything straight across like this. Uh, when I do the head, I usually like to kind of do this kind of oval shape right here, and then kind of go off that oval shape and kind of add in my basic, it's like more of an oval and an oval. This right here helps me to get that three-fourths view of the head, so whatever helps you achieve the three-fourths of the head, go ahead and use that. We're going to have the thing here, have that halfway point coming across here for where the hips are going to start. The legs, you know, the halfway point will be here, like so. Now, before we continue, I just want to show you a little image here from my book uh, showing the three-fourths view. This is from How to Draw Some Figures. And also, I'm going to, uh, I think my six-month uh, digital rights have run out with Amazon, so I think I'm allowed to offer the PDF digital version uh, now, I just don't know if I want to or not yet, but um, it's kind of a lot of work. To, I got to find someone to actually host it for me and, and download it. I guess I can use payloads again, but anyway, so um, I might offer a PDF version of the book. So for those that might want the want a digital version versus a physical version, but they don't like the Kindle, you want a PDF version, I might be able to do that for you. I just, uh, if I get enough people requesting it, then I'll go ahead and put it on uh, for sale that way. All right, so anyway, you have a front view here showing all the front planes and a side view. The three-quarters view is the front view planes, but notice how skinny all the front view planes are and how skinny all the side view planes are because it's you're seeing both planes at once. The same thing as, as if you drew a cube. So hopefully this will kind of help you kind of visualize. I recommend drawing this, this shape here. It's really, really helpful, I think. All right, now with that being shown, let's go ahead and continue on with drawing. And this time we're going to do something a little different. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is this kind of the same idea. Oops, I don't know what just happened there. Where did my, there we go. Let's get back here. I'm going to draw the uh, the hips first. I like starting with the hips. You can start with wherever you want to start with, uh, whatever works for you. And I'm going to do this like kind of triangle method where I kind of draw this triangle where majority of it is on. My hands aren't really warmed up here or something. It's really recommended to do some warm ups. And I kind of have it like a shape like this, almost like underwear. And then I have a little notch coming off like this, almost comes straight down, kind of like almost rounded like that. And then I'm going to have another one come off this side. That shape right there is what I use for front view and three-fourths view. But notice in three-fourths view, it's just a little bit bigger on this side of the line. Not much, but a little bit. Then I'm going to draw the skinny, the skinniness of the figure here to kind of bring in the, the skeletal structure and stuff. We're going to draw a very skinny version of the rib cage, And the rib cage is going to follow the center line of her head here. And kind of imagine a center line coming down like this. And that center line kind of falls all the way down right here. Just imagine that. We know about how far up from you know the previous lessons the rib cage needs to come up like this and make it very skinny like this. It's still a little bit wider on this side, the right hand side, than the left hand side, but not much. Right, and this is a basic skeletal figure. We're not gonna really see much of that arm, it's gonna kind of come behind, it's gonna come down like this, and then you'll have your hand here. This one's going to come out further, and then you have your kind of like this triangle shape here. Bring down the arm to the middle of the crotch, and then you have your hand there. Divide that in half, that's where the elbow is going to be. Right, this is the basic skeletal structure for now. I imagine the legs coming off this part right here to the edges, to these two edges right here, because that's like how the bones kind of work. And we're just going to do like a skinny kind of thing to the, the knees go above here. 
Uh, one needs to be higher than the other. It really depends. Um, you can have it this way now on the, the angle. Come down with our foot here and our foot here. We're going to have the feet kind of touching together. One foot there and this foot's going to kind of come out more toward us like this. Right? We can start to erase some of the stuff here so we can draw over it better. That's the basic idea of the three-fourths view. Now it doesn't look like three-fourths view yet because we haven't added the side plane. This is the front plane, but notice the front planes are very skinny. Now let's continue adding front planes, but doing so in a way that's kind of like, um, I guess, very, very skinny. So let's add the front plane of the leg here. Very skinny like that, that's our front plane of the leg. And let's add the front plane of the leg here, which is gonna go all the way out to this bone and come down like that. Now I know I'm gonna have a side, plane of my leg right here, I'm going to kind of shade that in. That's an inner side plane. This one's going to have an outer side plane. That's where I'm going to go ahead and add in. Let's go ahead and simplify all this again really quick here. So I have that kind of underwear shape. Comes out like this. Right, and then we're going to have kind of a, I'm going to draw kind of a rounded, almost curvature shape like that. We're going to come down like this. That's going to be our side of the hip here. And then we're going to have the side of the leg coming down right here, the side plane of the leg. So the front plane of the leg, I'm going to actually make a little bit thicker. This is going down to the knee. All right, so the kneecaps to be somewhere in here. And we have that side plane. I'm just going to cut the side plane right about there. I'm going to shade in the side plane so we can see the difference of front and side planes. Believe it or not, this is so helpful imagining the figure this way. The kneecap will be somewhere around here. We won't see as much of that of that knee. It's much thinner, so I'm drawing a much thinner circle for it. Next, we can start to add in the flesh that will be coming on here. And then we want to add the side view of the rib cage. So just kind of like we did before over here, we'll kind of come off like this and kind of just add a side view like that, knowing that the shoulder and stuff is going to overlap it. This is going to kind of come down like so. Up, down like that. This shoulder right here, we're not going to see much of it. It's going to be, it's going to be covered by the breast. Now when you draw the breast from the three-fourths view when you, do a, when you do a female, is you want to, this is almost like a side view of the breast. And also you have Think about how far down it goes. So we know the breast attaches, there's a pec muscle that attaches here to the arm, comes down. Um, it comes almost all the way down to the actual bottom rib. This should actually be a little bit higher. The arch should be a little bit higher here. And the pec muscle comes down like that and then it comes up over there. We're not going to see too much of it. From that side, overshadowed. Right, so imagine that pec muscle is there, and the breast attached to that pec muscle comes off. You have your breast, and they kind of come at an angle like this as they attach to that pec muscle. And the same thing here, but we're not going to see as much of it. We'll see more of a side view plane, but it's still going to attach to that same area. Like so, and you have that little bit of skin there, a little bit of skin there. And then we can go ahead and erase some of this and start to add just the shape like that. Now, of course, this is much, you know, much bigger. Uh, this is pretty large breast. You don't have to draw the breast as large. All right, then you have the deltoid taking up half of the arm like that, and then you have your bicep in here. So when you draw the arm, kind of match it the same way. We'll keep this simple mannequin. I want to try to keep it a simple, simple mannequin type of shape. Sometimes even this breast, if you have more of a three-fourths view, uh, this breast will also... I actually hit the button there, turn that off of my other part of my hand. Sometimes the uh, breast here will kind of be in a slightly three-fourths view, kind of like you're seeing kind of like a side plane and the front plane of the breast a little bit. This is more extreme three-fourths view, and the nipple is going to be more like right about here. That one's going to be on the edge like that. And then the, remember, you have that line 
coming across for the nipples to show that they kind of follow that same line of the knees and everything else that we're drawing here, the hands, one hand being a little bit higher than the other. Let's go ahead and draw now the kind of front plane of the arm here. Like so, you have that kind of front plane of the bicep. Then you have the side plane of the deltoid and the side plane of the bicep and tricep and all that. If you imagine it like this, it really does make it easier to draw. And I might be even I might even make her shoulder come in a little bit closer than that. Um, like so, let's go ahead and move it to where it's a little bit closer, something like that. Next is drawing that front plane of the forearm, coming down here to the arm, and then have the side plane of the forearm as well, like so. All right, so you have that front view, the front plane and side plane, that's what we're seeing. If you think about it this way, so the arm, if you have that front plane coming down and then the side plane, imagine kind of like that, and that's where it attached to the hand, and the hand would kind of come off, you'd have the thumb, whatever, and you have the other part of your hand, your structure, and the fingers coming off, right? I know that didn't look, it didn't look right at all, but it was. Just going to do a basic idea of the hand here. Let's draw the side plane of the calf muscle coming down like this, and then draw the front plane, which will be very skinny. And then we know the foot's going to fit in here like this. It's going to have kind of a front view. We're going to see a little bit of the side plane of the foot, but mostly it's that top front plane like that coming toward us. This leg we're going to draw coming down like this. We're seeing mostly just the side plane here, maybe a little bit of the front plane like that, but most of all this is all side plane. We're seeing of the inner leg and the side plane of the foot. That's going to be the big toe. I know that looks funny, but I'm trying to draw very tiny. Let's pull that, make this whole inner leg a little bit thicker. She's pretty skinny right now. Belly button still in that same place as before. Imagine that, that line. And remember, one side's going to be a little, bit you know, a little bit lower or higher than the other. So in this case, I'm drawing, I uh, wanted to make this knee a little bit lower than that knee. So I'm going to kind of bring the knee down like this. I'm going to have it all kind of go like that, so this hand's going to be a little bit lower than that hand, that elbow a little bit lower than that elbow. Imagine the inside of the arm, too, what you're seeing here. You're kind of seeing the inside side plane here, some of the top plane there. Then you have the hand, the thumb, hand coming out. This would be the fingers. Side plane here. And there you have it. So that's some of my kind of newer, newer techniques for drawing the the figure in three fourths view. Now this is you know um, you can add a lot more. You know this is a very skinny female. It's kind of almost androgynous. You can kind of take the the breast away and put pec muscles there, and you have like a skinny male. So I do it on purpose so you can easily adapt it to either one. That the technique is very similar. It's just a matter of you know whether or not you make bigger hips and things like that. So. If you go ahead and do the same exact thing, actually my time's from my time's from much. I got to keep the videos to 20 minutes now. But you take the the same thing, and all you do is you make the hips wider. So when you draw that kind of shape, just draw the hips out wider, like this, and then kind of come skinnier here for your rib cage. And if you do that, you'll have more of a feminine look and then you come out that's the widest part of the leg this is really really wide but you get the idea this would be like really wide wide leg woman really thin upper body almost comical and I'm out of time so I had to try to do that really fast only had a minute left we get the idea that's like a really really wide hip check almost like Chung Lee alright thanks for watching